Okay, guys, um, this is the last one for today. This is going to be a, a pour. And um, I thought I'd show you the mixing again because I get a lot of questions about the mixing. We, uh, I keep getting new people. So, of course, they're not going to go through 800 videos. So I'm going to show it. This is a uh, phalo blue. This is a phalo green. And titanium white. So when we mix this, which I will do now, what do we get? We get turquoise. My favorite color. Now, depending on how much green or blue you put in there, your turquoise will go to exactly that color. More on the green side, more on the blue side. And depending on how much titanium white you put in here, that's going to give you the, in, the, the intense color or more the, the lighter color. Now, what I do is I mix up my paint. I put some paint in the cup. I'm going to add water first this time. Normally I don't do this. Normally I put in the uh, pouring medium, but we'll see how this works out. So now it's already a little bit more smooth. Now what I do is I take the pouring medium. This is the new formula, the normal pouring medium. The extra thick is for um, um, the really thin paints. So I add that and I stir it. And when it's all in there, I add gloss medium, about 10% gloss medium. And I stir that up, making sure to scrape the sides and the middle. There it is. Then I have a bottle. Um, this is PVA um, glue. So it's bookbinders glue with a little bit of water to make it just a little bit more fluid. And I add about that much. And then we stir it up again. Now, because we know that Floetrol makes those uh, double cells, I also have a bottle with this has Floetrol in it. And I just add a little bit of Floetrol. Now, because this is only a small cup, it's not much, but I will put the uh, recipe uh, in the comments under this video so that everyone has access to exactly the same ingredients I have. If you live in the United States or Canada, um, Dick Blick sells all these ingredients. So um, it's easy to come by. And now I add water until I get the uh, perfect consistency that I want. So we're going to stir it in, making sure to go over the bottom here, scrape the sides. And I'm, I'm thinking that some people don't have the, um, you know, the Zen to uh, mix paints. And really, you should really think about mixing paint as your Zen time, because that's what I do. I put on some TV show. I've told you this a dozen times. I put on a TV show or I put on some music, a cup of coffee, and I sit there and I can mix paint for hours, which I should be doing because I'm almost out of all colors. Now, for the testing, this is perfect. And I'm going to take you down to show you exactly how thick it is. Okay, guys, sorry, my iPad fell, so I have to start over. So when you load up your stick and you do like this, it has to look like warm honey. That's exactly how it should look like. But do do load up the ice popsicle stick. So you put it full and then you can see exactly how it should be. Now, uh, this is really important because if it's too thick, 
if there's chunky chunks coming off the stick or if it's a really too thin like there's a lot of drips off the stick that's a sign that it's too thin if there's chunks coming off your stick then it's a sign that it's too thick so you have to add a little bit water but if it's too thin you're gonna have to add paint let me get you in a little closer I don't know what that is oh that's a little bit of goo let's take that out because I'm gonna use this in a bit so um, I hope this is um, a good way to show it to you guys because you know there's not too much paint in this little cup but that's how it should look okay okay so uh, we have the paints that we want we're going to give the uh, the canvas a nice coat of paint because I'm going to be having a white background there's no silicone in this paint uh, if I can I try to avoid silicone in the background color because you get those dents I've talked about that before but um, I've stopped uh, thinking that people watch all my videos <laughs> so, so I can just repeat a couple of things that I find really important that's okay because if if there's silicone in the in the background color you will see uh, sort of indentations all over the place where the silicone is and you want this to really pretty much dry up really smooth that's really what you're going for okay nice and wet whoops that's it now um, we're going to uh, use a little bit of uh, silicone that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put some in this uh, the color I just made And we're going to put some in the last bit of white that I'm going to circle the colors with. Put a little bit more in the cup. I don't have a stick. So we're going to mix that in there. Now I'm going to put a little bit in the middle here. Just a little bit. And for the rest, I'm going to make it just a little bit thinner because I'm going to use some um, air to blow over it. I'm going to not try to use my airbrush because I know that almost no one has an airbrush. So now this is a lot thinner than the other paints. Now here we are going to add the other colors. And this time I'm going to go for uh, less is more. So we're going to put a little bit of green in. And a little bit of yellow if I have some left oh yes I do that's not much but it'll have to do that's that this is another turquoise a little bit darker that's it now we're going to put the other white around and I think it might even be better if it was a little itty bitty more thinner than it is right now so here we go again And now I'm going to take a big straw it is nice but I do want it to do other things let's see if I have a torch Where's my torch? I've lost my own oh node. I have so much stuff going on here. That's more than enough. And now I'm going to manipulate the rest because I want less is more, like I said. 
So we're going to put in some more paint, but this time I'm going to take this because uh, the paint that is on here has silicone in it and we don't want that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood the rest. So I'm going to put white paint in a little bottle that I have here. I'm going to add some water. Let's see how much. That's enough. I'm going to put the little spouty thing on top. Because I like what's going on here, but I don't want anything more because I, I want a lot of background color. And of course I'll have to make it run all over the place, or not, but then we'll waste a lot of paint. And I know how upset some people get about wasted paint. <laughs> oh boy. I think if, you're, if you really get upset about all the paint that gets wasted, I think an, a different hobby would really suit you because you can't help but waste some paint when you do this kind of art. And it's not to be snobby or anything, but, you know, it just has to be. You have to have something pouring off the sides, or it doesn't work. There we go. Okay, looking good so far. Only I want to torch the bubbles out before I tilt. working out nicely. Yeah, I think this has something that I really like. But now comes the difficult part because we want to have it go over the side because I want it to dry really smooth. And of course this is going to move with it a little bit. But we're going to make sure that it does that just a little bit, not too much. We don't want to disrupt what we already have. So we're going to pull it over there, pull it back, push it down here. That goes over the side. That's nice. No contamination. Nope. And down here. Now that is pretty. Okay. This is really pretty. I, I really, really like this. Okay, where's my rag? Here it is. You know, sometimes less is more. And I think this shows that you don't have to have a lot of colored paint on there to make something pretty. So I think this is uh, exactly what I set out to do. And um, the, the little bit of silicone that I did put in gave me these beautiful patterns. So I think that worked out just fine. Oh, I forgot my, I forgot this one. Of course, I want to thank the people of April 2019. So here you go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Forgot all about you guys the whole weekend. Um, I like it. I'm happy. I'm thinking about doing something to it because I'm sure you already catch, catched on to that or latched on to that because I'm waiting too long. But I see that some things like here, I would really like something coming down there. Now that's happening. And that one making more of a movement up there. It, they're really only 
really small little things I'm doing, but it does sort of add to the flowiness of the painting. Up here I'm missing a couple. Like that. I do want it to, you know, sort of hold on to the whole canvas, if you know what I'm talking about. And down here we need a little one going up there. And maybe this one. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I really like this one. Now I see one thing that's really bugging me, and that's those little holes in this. So I'm not going to have that. We're going to make those disappear. Perfect. Anything else bugging me? No. Nope. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to dry because of all the paint, but we'll see next week. I'll show them, I'll show you this one. And um, I'm not going to touch it anymore. There's going to be no glitter. No, no, no. Sorry about that, but no glitter. I think it is um, a, a nice piece all by itself. I don't think this one needs any glitter whatsoever. I'm thinking about it. Nah, no glitter. Don't do it. Keep your hands off the glitter. Okay. I would like a, l a few more of those little, these really hairlines. They are so beautiful, but I'm not going to jinx it. I think this is something that is going to soak into my mind for next week. And we're going to do some more of this, but maybe different colors. I would really like something with striking colors like fluorescent pink, fluorescent green, something that pops off the canvas. This already pops off the canvas, but I think we can make it even better. So um, thanks all for this uh, really fun weekend, guys. We've done a lot of things. We've done uh, terracotta pots. We've done decoupage. <laughs> We've done a giveaway. I've done the pearl colors. This was a lot of fun. So uh, thanks all for watching. And a special thanks to all my sponsors who I forgot to mention in all my videos. So thank you all for that, for supporting me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So see you all next weekend. Bye-bye. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hoffe jullie allemaal. Bye-bye.